What's up, HX Stompers? So if you updated to 3.0, which I know you did, you might be considering for the first time going to a MIDI setup or adding a MIDI controller to your HX Stomp, which I cannot recommend enough because it's gonna unlock so many possibilities with your presets and give you so much more flexibility in what you can do with such a small unit. So today I wanted to talk to you about this Live Logic from Blackstar. Yes, the amp company came out with a MIDI controller. This is a really good one in the sense that it's a horizontal layout, which I really appreciate because I've got big old feet and something like the Morningstar MC6, the buttons are really close and kind of hit them on accident and stuff. So I like that this is pedal board friendly, uh, being long ways like this. So you can put your pedals on top of it and uh, keep a regular pedal board setup. This is also a, uh, Logic licensed device, so it can be used with really any DAW, but they market it for Logic. But you can use this with Helix Native, which is another benefit of the Stomp. If you want more blocks and you are you feel stuck with um, the eight block limit or you wanna use more of the pitch effects and you wanna run Helix Native in your DAW, you can set this up to control your DAW all hands-free and not have to click around through the native uh, plugin. You can just set up your foot switches and play along. You can set it up to loop, you can set it up to record, stop, you know, anything you want. MIDI, anything's possible. Keyboard players have been doing this for centuries. Maybe not centuries, you get what I mean. So us guitar players are still kind of wrapping our head around like a DIW setup for a live application. So it's worth looking into if you can figure it out. I am self-proclaimed MIDI literate, meaning that I have no freaking clue when it comes to MIDI, which, Helps me so much having this because this is so easy to use and we're gonna go through how to set this up with a basic pedal board and do basic changes, nothing fancy, just basic stuff that you would want that I could do in the full Helix with more foot switches or more snapshots or preset selections. Just being able to do that with this is enough for me. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's really easy. There's a really handy desktop editor for this. So the first thing you wanna make sure that you are in custom mode. Okay, so there's a little switch there. Um, patch is like presets that they have. Custom is, their, is exactly what it sounds like. You can customize your own. Um, you want to go MIDI out to the HX stomp in because this is what's sending the program or control changes to the HX stomp. So it connects to your computer via USB the same way that the HX stomp does and uh, really easy to set up. So we're going to go right through it right now. Live Logic control center here that you have, you see device connected, and this is telling me what everything does. So I can click on these buttons, and that's how I'm going to pick what does what. You also want to, um, you can go here to a profile, you can save or open a profile, um, you save your name, whatever you wanna make it. I have one here that, um, that I was working on earlier, that says HX Stomp. So let's go through what we can do here. So foot switch one, I'm gonna just set it up to be bypassing. So that's what I want most of these to do. I'm gonna set up one, two, three, four to be regular things that I would do in the HX Stomp. So let's go to our message type. So this is what we wanna do um, for our foot switching, right? So I wanna go to foot switch one, I want this to be a CC. Um, so for this, you wanna make sure that this is toggle. This is your operation. So this is what, this is essentially what you're telling the MIDI device to do to the stomp. You want it to toggle something on and off or you want it to be momentary. So we're gonna make this toggle. And let's look at the preset I have up here. So right now this preset is set up to be three snapshots set up to be three snapshots as you see, them all blinking. You can see up here which snapshot's active, but I wanna be able to do a little bit more. I wanna be able to control these uh, effects without having to sacrifice my snapshots. So the snapshots right now are controlling the amp sound. So I have like a brown face, a black face, and a tweed Princeton amp model set up here. So that's just my three levels of gain for the amp. And now I want these foot switches to control the effects. So let's go first, we got the pocket fuzz. I'm gonna set up the pocket fuzz to be foot switch one. So how do I do this? This is super easy and you do it right on the stomp. 
So I'm going to hit that, hit your three lines, right? You hit these both at the same time. I have bypass assign and you see switch is set to none. And then you see here, there's no option for MIDI, right? So we are gonna page over and there's your MIDI. So you're just gonna see, you have all these CC numbers, which is what gets really confusing and stuff that I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. So I'm just gonna make it simple and I'm gonna hit learn and I'm going to press that foot switch. So now you see it turned to CC20. Worth noting here too, I just went through the HX dot manual and I made sure that all of the CC message numbers were clear and you just type in any number between zero and 127 that's not blocked out by the stomp and you'll be able to do any of these. So this is preset. Now I'm gonna to go to foot switch two. You see, I already changed this to 22. I just did 20, 21, 22, just did it that way. And now I want this to control my horizon drive, which is the best overdrive in the Helix right now. So again, you already see it says that my MIDI's there. I'm just gonna hit learn. And now I'm gonna press foot switch two. And it automatically finds that spot for me. This makes life so easy. I'm programming this like it's nothing right now. It's so simple. So third one I'm gonna do is the foot switch three, which I'm going to make my Diana drive toggle. So you see I have 23 here toggle. That's gonna be available to me, zero and 27. That means on and off. And we're just going to double press, page, oh, oh whoops, bypass assign, page over to MIDI, hit learn, press on the third foot switch, and it's done for you right there. You see 23 and 23 pop up. Life is good. Four, I'm gonna want to be a solo boost sound. So I'm gonna go to my Diana drive and that's gonna be like my main dirty sound. So when I take a solo, for example, this is just a random example, just showing you how to do this. Say I want this to control my gain. So I'm going to press and hold. And now you see gain is under parameter control. And now I have to scroll to my controller until I get to MIDI CC. I'm gonna page over. Learn makes everything so much easier. I'm gonna set my min and max values. What is it currently? 5.2. Min value, 5.2. Max value set to eight. Home. And now you see it toggling between 5.2 and eight. Awesome. So now I needed to do a little bit of homework where I want this to be a momentary um, a momentary tuner where I tap it and it holds down the tuner. If you look in the HX dot manual, you'll see number 68 is the tuner. So I'm gonna set this here, this operation to momentary. That means that when I press it down, it's gonna turn into my tuner. When I release, it's gonna come off it. 68, like I said, is your HX stomp tuner. If you look through the manual and I want this to be for foot switch five, also very important is that you have to now hit send values to your device. So that now it's sending all the messages to the Helix. Like it downloads the messages into the Helix to uh, tell it what to do. So when I hold it down, just listen and you can hear me clicking it. So let's say I'm playing. I have a nice little handy thing there. And if I need to tune, I just hold it down. And then when I'm done, take it off. That easy. So that's a fun thing that you can do with that um, little stuttering effect or just hold it down for your tuner, fun stuff. Let's now just top this off here. Let's assign this to the last one. Bypass assign. Again, there's nothing there, so we want to page over. MIDI, learn, foot switch six. So now that's set to momentary right now. So I'm going to change that in the editor. I'm going to click on foot switch six and I'm going to change this to toggle. To now hit send values to your device. So now that basically is what you're doing. The computer is sending the message to the live logic to tell the stomp what to do. So you program it into the laptop, it sends it to the 
live logic, live logic sends the change to the HX stump. It's way more confusing than it is in practice. So just try it, follow it along and you'll be fine. So now after double checking that I sent all of my program control changing to my foot switch, let's see what we got. So I got everything bypassed and now my three snapshots should be intact. So I have my three uh, levels of gain with my Fender Princeton amp here. So I don't have to touch those now. And now I can just turn my pedals on and off. Hit my fuzz pedal on right there. Horizon, Diana, and again, this is my gain. Double check that it's toggling there. Everything looks good. So it's that easy to incorporate MIDI into your HX stomp setup, and you can see the flexibility in this. If you are a MIDI mad scientist out there, somebody that actually knows what the heck they're doing, let people know in the comments what you use MIDI for with HX stomp so that we can hopefully get a little discussion going down there, like a little forum post where you could let us know the possibilities of what MIDI is capable of because this is a very basic way of using it. I think it's super powerful. It's gonna really change everything about how I make my presets, make everything usable, and give me unlimited flexibility with this. So if you already are good with MIDI, drop some hints below. If you're not good at MIDI, check the comments, ask some questions, and hopefully we can get you sorted out. I wanna thank Blackstar for sending this out to me to uh, check out and review. Works excellent. I think it's a great addition to the HX Stomp. You should definitely check one out. And uh, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.